Hi, it's Lindsay Mom O'Neill, and I am here today to show you how to cook an entire Thanksgiving meal on the Art of Flame. The reason I love this grill is not only because of the amazing flavors that come off of it, but really because it's the most versatile grill on the market. Today I'm going to showcase its versatility by using their brand new rotisserie. You can cook up to 25 pounds of meat. You can also hang pots from these little holes. All right, we're going to get this beautiful bird on the grill. So I'm going to put it in on the end that's flat first, and then the spike on this side. So here's the box. We slide it on. There's a couple of things that you need to know before you get the turkey on the rotisserie. I've tied down the wing tips on the turkey so that they don't flap around. I brine the turkey overnight. It does two things for us. It helps to retain the turkey's natural moisture, but it also helps to speed up the cooking time. It should take about two to two and a half hours to cook a 15 pound bird. So I wanna just take a quick temperature of the turkey. When it's done, it should read about 170 degrees. So it's about 155 right now, which means it has about another 20 minutes to a half hour. One of the first things I'm gonna get started on the grill is some delicious cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blood orange zest and then I'm gonna cut them open and squeeze them in so that that juice helps these cranberries get cooking. You can add a little pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt, an even smaller pinch of black pepper, a cinnamon stick, which I'm just gonna nestle right into the middle of that. I'm gonna put about a quarter of sugar in first and see how we do. I'm just gonna add a pinch of ground cloves. Ugh, I wish you were here to smell that. And then I'm gonna cover it up and let it cook for about 20 minutes. My favorite type of stuffing to make is my famous ciabatta bread stuffing with pancetta, chestnuts, and fresh rosemary. This stuffing is so delicious. Your whole house or your whole backyard, if you're making it on your Art of Flame, will smell delicious. We have two containers of pancetta, about 16 ounces total. I have two yams cut up. I have a little bit of olive oil, some maple syrup, and some pumpkin pie spice. Oh yeah. This turkey, if you're wondering why it's so golden brown and delicious, I rubbed it with butter. I know I'm supposed to be a healthy chef, but I couldn't help myself. That's how you really make a turkey taste good. So to balance out some of the sweet in the yams, I'm gonna put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt right on top. All right, so the pancetta is nice and golden brown. It's not fully cooked. You don't want it to be bitter or tough. So first I'm gonna put in some onion and garlic, and then I'm gonna add in chestnuts, celery, and carrots. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt and a touch of pepper. And then I have some rosemary and some parsley, which we will just sprinkle in. So now that the veggies are nice and tender, I'm gonna put the pancetta back in. I've got a nice big bowl of ciabatta bread. I basically just took a loaf of bread. I let it sit out for about a day and a half so that it would get a little bit stale, but not too much. And um, chopped it up into these nice big chunks. So we're gonna layer these in. I think our yams are done. Yep. So I have a little bit of a mixture of egg and chicken stock that I'm going to pour into the skillet to help it bind together. Now before I close the lid on this, I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese right on the top. I'm gonna to give it one more toss. Let me put the top on. Go. Come on, baby. Perfect. 170. So we're going to get the turkey off, then we'll slide it this way. Perfect. Hey I'm going to cover the bird and let it rest for about 45 minutes while the rest of our Thanksgiving dinner cooks. I'm going to put a stick of butter into a cast iron skillet, and then I'm going to put some pecans in there to toast them up. Yams. I'm going to go in. I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider. A touch of maple syrup, some brown sugar on the pecans, and add a little bit of brown sugar to the yams. So we're gonna add some mini marshmallows to our yam smash. Pecans coming. 
scramble them on top. And we have, <laughs> look at that. I want to give a quick shout out to Greensbury Market. That turkey is so delicious. It's an organic grass-fed turkey. Please check out greensbury.com. Thank you so much for joining us today as we cooked our Thanksgiving meal on the Art of Flame Grill. I wish you lots of love and yum for a happy and healthy Thanksgiving.